Welcome to Beautiful Salvage. If you have watched our latest video, you know that Julie and I took a vacation to see a good friend and fellow upcycler in Connecticut. Our friend Luana has been turning an old mill into a cozy upcycled home. Last week, we took you on a tour of the first floor and showed you all of her fun decor ideas. And today, we are taking you upstairs to show you more. We will be starting the upstairs tour in her sunroom and sitting area, where she has so many beautiful decor vignettes. With all the sunlight coming in here, yeah. it's so bright and airy. Yeah. And uh, this door came from Minnesota on one of our jaunts down on the 100 mile, and it made a little uh, vignette. And you put, yeah. a, you put a shelf on the door with the chandelier hanging. Mm -hmm. And that was a piece of flooring left over from the bathroom project, which we'll be showing you in a little while. We are standing in the sitting room and this used to be a mill. So the train would come up on this side of the building and we're about 12 feet. Well, see, uh, of, this deck is about 12 feet, but you know, the train was down on the ground. We'll show you a little bit of that. Yes. But uh, this is where they picked up the grain after the, the farmers dropped it off okay. in, that, in that front part. And, okay. and it came up here, got put on the train, shipped away, ground up, brought back, and and uh, people came here to buy it or pick up the grain that they dropped off. Mm -hmm. So, and then they turned this into a little deck area. Yeah. Okay. So, just don't train, on that. It's raining up, so mm -hmm. I'll just stand here. The train literally came right, right up to this, and I don't think this is the original door, but they probably had something else. But you can look down. Can you maybe see the yep? I have a little secret garden down there. Um, that's been drowned this year. Okay, this bench uh, I picked up at a garage sale for five bucks. It's an old church. This is how they used to sit in church. Uh, uh, some of the churches up here didn't have regular pews. They sat on these benches. <clears throat> this is why <laughs> I got it for five dollars. Oh. <laughs> but Terry's Terry's promise is gonna work on that for me. So if you come this way and are sitting in this room, you can see all of the beautiful windows that the gallery had put in when they remodeled. go all the way around um, on the top and there's a window here and then these doors shut really captured my attention when I was looking at this place. So you, should, you can see up on the other side and around and I like that they're all different. Yeah. So I want you to go into the bedroom there Julie and I'm going to shut these doors because I think we need a little privacy. <laughs> <laughs> and so where did you get the screens from? I never asked. A garage sale. That. Okay, and they happen to have this many of He had a stack, screens. he gave them to me for 20 bucks. This half of the upstairs was one big room. To divide the space, Luana has taken old screens to separate the bedroom from the sitting room. She has hung old nightgowns on the screens, which gives a little bit of privacy, but most of all, adds an elegant touch to the space. And then her way sure. of having a closet when there isn't one. She took chairs and hung her shirts. And if you notice, it, because it's pleasing to the eye, her clothes are color coded, which really helps when you have an open closet. Where did you get this chandelier? Was yeah, this some, at a garage sale here in Connecticut? Yeah. At a tag sale, they call them. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I still yes. got a little Minnesota. <laughs> right? Yeah. And that uh, piece there, uh, I did do a chop paint. Okay. Yeah. I did Pinterest where they hung the mirror upside down. Yes. And put a shelf on it, and I loved, I loved it. Mm -hmm. right? In the beginning, you saw Luana shutting the glass pane doors to her studio. It never looks like this, okay? It usually <laughs> has three or four projects going um, at once. It could be painting, it could be sewing, it could be just yeah, making, making, making some treasure. I have, I have this beautiful view. Uh, if you're familiar with 
this area. Haystack Mountain's a big thing, and that, that's Haystack Mountain over there. Uh, this also has an awning. It's, it's really hot. Oh. Did you want to see these beautiful curtains? <laughs> <laughs> they met my sister the other night. She's a sewer. And in an effort to keep warm this winter, we, we made lots of curtains. We put Love plastic it. on the windows. These were a box of pillowcases from my brother and his wife. And this is what she came up with. I thought it was very creative. Anyway, it's, it's kind yeah. of a joke. Because you walk that in is. here, it's a very big pop of Well, it's very beautiful salvage, right? Yeah. We take yeah. what we have and what we find and, and what we create something from it. So yeah. that is what we're about. Lots of chandeliers in the house, lots of lanterns. These are just backups. Um, my cousin Gladys is, you'll see a lot of her around here. And these are my two jumping buddies. <laughs> I have them in here for inspiration. So, this piece used to be an old fly, fly fisherman. Uh, I think I love that piece. Yeah, and yeah. it works great for all kinds of stuff. This is an old easel, old Miami board. You can, it's all self explanatory. That couch is going to get painted next with the chalk paint. Um, I just love the rosewood on that. All the art you're seeing in here are my two granddaughters when they were. Uh, in their single digits, now they're teenagers, and um, I don't get this anymore. I get texts, so I, I decided I wanted to hang it up so I could enjoy it every day. So I love this idea. Yeah. Um, you were trying, you were collecting canvas pictures. Yeah, I still have. Yeah, like still four do. years ago yeah. to create bags like this, and you have one done now. Yeah, you so just cut the canvas, fun. take the canvas off the frame, and make a design. It could be, you know, a shopping bag. It could be a little wallet. Whatever, um, you know, you're comfortable with. What a fun idea! And that area there that Amy's going into, I'll follow up in a minute, is just an extension of the studio. Um, when I have bigger projects and I need to pull furniture out and paint, it's usually done in here, and I co I cover the floor. These pieces are were some more of the freebies from Habitat, and I have plans to paint them. I haven't got around to it. This is my little coffee nook in the morning, or I make some toast and curl up with a book or on a Pinterest <laughs> and make some plans. Luana's creative mind never stops working and is always thinking about the next creative idea to tackle. Just being in her home and in the beautiful atmosphere, I can't help but think of what I might want to create next. When I bought the place, um, the apartment was a studio and the used to go uh, through there uh, and there was another big room that belonged to this part. And so uh, my brother and I took about 10 feet more this way and made, and you'll be seeing the bathroom. I made a bathroom because there wasn't a bathroom in here and a big bedroom for the apartment. So now it's a one bedroom apartment um, that can be easily, you know, transferred back into just one big uh building if, if somebody wanted to do that. The door is actually behind there. <laughs> we didn't see it. I, mean, I just have to show everyone how she has her junk displayed because I think it's so cool and I might want to I might want to do this in my workshop as well. It just looks so beautiful. <laughs> Who knew junk could be beautiful but it's all displayed in this cabinet in this glass cabinet. Yeah. Is there anything in there you want? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, you can, I don't know about it out there, but you can find these old, mm -hmm. nobody wants them anymore. Isn't it a shame? Yes. And they make good storage and, they're, and, and, they, and they're pretty at the same time. So Amy, you're right. You got to do that. <laughs> yes. So this is newly remodeled. Yeah. yeah. The door. And we'll enter the beautiful bathroom. Mm -hmm. This cloth wood tub um, was salvaged out of a barn sale, and um, I thought I was going to have to refinish it, but after I got it all cleaned up, it looked fine, just the way it is. Um, decided to put a little washer and dryer in here, which looks nice. Um, these are all shiplap walls. The floorboards uh, were taken up, the original, 
and hauled down to one of the bays. I refinished them while they did all the plumbing. And then I came up and put them back down. And then we put in the, the uh, shiplap backwards. I don't know why, I just like the rough side better. And trim, and I had my brother leave openings on, on the chimney, so we have little nooks there. And uh, this is the only room in the house that a plant will live, because <laughs> it's all on the, uh, downstairs is all on the um, north side, so I don't get a lot of light. Um, the curtain rods were made out of some flagpoles, and the finials on those are egg cups that I just put on there. <laughs> and uh, I had to have a chandelier above the tub, and the plumber had a lot of trouble with the not putting the tub against the wall. And I said, well, I'll lay in the tub and look out the window and watch the stars at night. So mm. I actually had to cut out a little piece of cardboard and sit on it in different places so I knew where <laughs> what, what angle I wanted it. <laughs> this birdcage here bought beside the plants was a fine on a roadside. And uh, I use it for stop, uh, towels and um, soaps and bath things. We finished this dresser. This was a really wreck, and uh, I like the two-tone uh, when I'm doing that stuff. And I won't, don't look inside the door, but I do stenciling on the on the side there. And then my brother did a big shower, and I wanted to learn how to tile, so he let me do that wall right inside. <laughs> and Amy and, and Julie assured me they couldn't tell the difference. So. It's beautiful. Uh, oh, she's, thank you. she's been and, such an inspiration, and I am just full of ideas now uh, after coming well, here. Well, they're my biggest fans. They, really, <laughs> they keep me going, and I, I miss them so much. And I think we need to make this an annual visit. I think if so. not more. Yes. <laughs> well, if you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye. <laughs> See you next time. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's my meal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>